Hello and welcome. Oh, excuse me. Without a frog in my throat this time. Hello and welcome. I'm AltaGamer2004. And today we are uh, back with Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, we're headed back to Fold. I didn't think we'd be going back to Vold. I thought we were leaving Vold for good. <sighs> I thought we were done with this place. Hey, Tim. Fold forever. No! No more ice! All right, where, where am I? Uh. Oh, cool. I'll be looking forward to it. Wait. I probably should go get the Nomad. Why do I have a feeling I'm off course? A creative team and name players of people after in chat, huh? Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. You mean like NJWF, which you don't do anymore? I'm reading a severe temperature drop. Yeah, because I want to get off this frozen okay. ice hole.
so no one has ever seen the inside of one of these places. Really? None who lived to tell. Prisoners who go in are never seen again. They have disappeared. Oh, mysterious. No one's escaped? Sure, we've liberated cat work camps, but never these facilities. We lost so many fighters trying. The price was too high. I like to believe that the cat take important Angara from here to their home cluster. What? As slaves? I guess. Death is better. Jaw, we can't just give in to blanket despair. We gotta have hope. It's why they fight. It's why we're here. It's why we're excited to be part of this mission. We're here. I Thank you for the resub, Magic worse. Kitten. Thank you for three months. Once we're through the shield, you take point. We'll look for Moshai Sefa. Let's just try to stay safe, okay? The Pathfinder. No one joins the resistance to stay safe. Good luck. Radio me when you're ready to go. Do we even know what kind of force we can expect? Not a clue. Stay close. Don't draw attention until we have to. They won't expect us to disable that shield. Might give us an edge. Our intel says there's a system node to hack on an interface point near here. Somewhere. Scales our top cat hacker. Running Garn Shield Disable Program. Adding my process accelerator. Stand by. Continue to stand by. Please don't Standing look by. in front of our new friends. I have created a small hole in the shield. Look, it worked. Whoa. We're not there yet, but we'll get there. My favorite. Oh, I forgot I have an assault rifle now. I took Sam, by the zero time part in that battle. About this place. Yes, Pathfinder. All right, let's go. Owen, Scalp, you're on me. Now wait, there's another entrance like that over here. Okay, so I can't combo with that cat sword. That's good to know. No one joins the resistance to stay safe, yes, but being careless with your life doesn't help things either. I wonder how much damage that does in combat. I'm gonna have to... What do you mean, no relevant data? Oh, because I already broke it. Bullshit. Holographs. Yes, incredible. I can't believe I'm here. 
Oh, it's a battle rifle. Hey, Kyle, how's it going? Abandoned. From the prisoners. Do we have time to... Can we just look around? Hey, Sezik. Find a cat called Zor. Hack us away into the heart of this place. <laughs> On it! How's it going? Huddle up. If we were a surprise, I doubt we're one anymore. You have the best chance of finding Moshe Sefer. We'll attack head on and provide a distraction. That sounds a little like suicide. We're ready for anything. This is the main entrance. We'll go this way. Kick in the front door. Stay in radio contact. And good luck. Can they cause enough trouble? Yeah, he was telling me he's going to start up a new series that he's never going to finish, like NJWF. The program I used to reach the shield could overload it and destroy this facility. However, the pulse would be lethal to Angaran physiology. That's not ideal. Let's call it a last resort. Oh. Shit, something to scan. What can I scan? Well, Sam, what is this? A decontamination protocol. The chamber I was able to scan the window. Are you serious? So, we're trapped. I hate that. No, Sid. Break the window? No, the seal is invulnerable. Decontamination? Is that weird to anyone else? Good question. Probably the creepy answer. Germaphobes? Damn it. Pathfinder, come in. How's it going? We're undetected, but from where we're hiding, we can see some of our people. Oh, what's this? Stasis pod. Can I open it? You mean, hockey has exciting moments when nobody's looking, because when people are looking, nothing happens. I'm going to explore down this way first. Oh! Maybe, maybe Pittsburgh just needs a better hockey team then. Because every time I watch hockey, nothing happens until I turn away. And then that's when everything happens. I turn back, I tune back in, and nothing happens again.
I imagine hockey is one, definitely one of those things that is better in person, though. Because then you could get the adrenaline from the crowd and... Oh, shit. I didn't know I could ground pound. Don't be jealous of the penguins. We need the penguins right now. The Steelers suck and who are the pirates? <laughs> Oh, what the fuck is that thing? What? What is this? They're turning the Angarans into Ket? Fortune and welcome. Step forward. I am humbled before you. You who are the chosen. Chosen by the Archon. Chosen to be exalted. So the cat are arc are and garns? What? Why aren't they resisting? That's some crazy cult shit down there. Those Angaro look like they're in some sort of trance. I know the Mosai. She's not down there. But maybe in one of those pods. It's as good a lead as any. You wanted a distraction? We just set our plan on fire. Don't tell me you actually started a fire. Impossible. Arkham. Explain. We've been breached. I will defend the temple. Wait. Is the most I among these? No. It awaits final exaltation. Then proceed immediately and bring it to me. Final exaltation? What's final? What are they doing? We have to save all the Angara. We're here. Let's do everything we can. Thank you. That wasn't the plan. Plans change. Come on. Let's see where those pods go. That can't be right. She called them the Chosen. Chosen for what, exactly? Joel, they can't have chosen to be here, can they? No, of course not. Okay, so how come you can have the, the helmet off in cutscenes, but has to put it on back in game? Ow, who's shooting me in the ass? I got Forrest Gump. We 
can ask these guys for directions. Who's in? Deep. Me. Still shooting here. Why can't I have an option to take helmet off out in outside of cutscenes? Huh? Pathfinder, come in. You holding up? So far, we're beyond the main chamber now and continuing our infiltration. This place is crazy. What are you seeing? It's like a... I don't know, a weird... church? It's so strange. We found a room of prisoners. Oh, I can? So we're in trunk. Oh, shit. I don't think I saved that right. Uh, I'm used to it by now. Sam, any luck figuring out how this place works? Yes, Pathfinder. I am making progress, but the Angara had no intel on this facility. Should I prioritize differently? Are you in peril? Ow! Oh, where the fuck did you come from? Alright, what am I scanning? This feels a little haphazard. The Moshe might not be in a pod. Let me search every crate. He's here, somewhere. You're that sure of your intel? I am. At least I thought so. Anyway, it's all we have. Can I interact with this? No. Sniper rifle weapon mod. I don't use sniper rifles. I'm guessing the core is through here. Come on, Tim. If we wanted realistic, we wouldn't watch Star Trek or Star Wars, where everybody could breathe on every single planet. How many bullets? Oh no. Joe. We can try scanning. Who are they? What did that say, Blarg? Angoran male. Estimate 95. Healthy. Numerous healed skeletal fractures. Is this what we all boil down to? Do we get? So it seems. None of these fit her description. Ryder, if you find a console, I will try to access it. I watched Star Wars. Sam, searching. The chosen are locked by genetic information. Hurry, please. I am working at top velocity with an alien language and an alien technology, checking against Angaran databases. The Moshe was here, but her pod was pulled out of line moments ago. Uh oh, where to? Pods travel from here to rooms that encircle this core. On it. Let's go.
Uh, all but Ahsoka. I need to catch up on Ahsoka. Our reinforcements are arriving. We're doubling back to rendezvous. We have a lead on the Moshai. We think she's alive. Start. Strength. That's good news. The one thing I will say about the uh, Disney Plus Star Wars shows, one thing they need to learn is that not every episode needs to be 50% dark and unable to see the show. Like, they, I know they like their night shots and their dark shots and shit, but I can't see the show half the time. Well, now I want to watch it just to see if it is as bad as you say it is. Okay, PB, you climb that crate. doing with syringes in here they're shooting the angarns up with dope Hey, I can't fly. Why can they fly? What the fuck? I was right, they're turning in gardens into cat. So what happens if I didn't bring Jal with me on the mission? Would he just be here as a third party member? Jal? Or am I forced to bring Jal? So I'd be missing out on this if I didn't bring Jal. I'll keep scanning for her. It looks like there are other rooms like this. We'd better find her fast. Okay, I was gonna say. Yeah. How many have I killed? Not knowing. Right, I, I did not know. How can I help? What do you need? That is kind. 
Okay. You don't know. Well, then let's start by finding the Moshai. If anyone can figure out what this means for the Angara, I'm guessing it's her. You're probably right. Ryder! Jal, she's here! Hurry! Come on, come on! Sam! Get me into that room now! Initiation to contamination bypass high. <laughs> Sam, what have you got? I was able to access the facility plans at the last terminal. A best guess would be the shuttle launch area above. I've got a shotgun, bitch. Oh, what'd you do to me? Get off me! He killed me! What the fuck? He can insta-kill me? That's bullshit. There she is! I see her! They're getting ready to leave! Hang tight, Moshe Sefa. We're coming for you! You will not take her! No, you will not take her! Fuck. This place. Oh, he's over there. My own me. You Who's shooting me in the ass? Stop it. You are not insta-killing me again.
I'm tired of getting shot in the ass. This is garbage. I think I was supposed to come here. Ow, 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 ow! Asshole! I got gotcha. you. We're getting you out of here. No one has ever returned from behind Ket walls. Well, I don't know the rules yet. Anyway, this place is on alert. We have to get out of here, now. I'm not the only one here. They took the entire cell. Vitals are bad. The immune system's been decimated. <sighs> you will not take it. It is meant for the Archon himself. She's coming with us. Wait. I want to know why the Archon. Arrogant simpletons. This is a gift. Who are you to deny it? You turn them into monsters that fight their own people. These Chosen join with us to become great beyond your ability to understand. Like them. I was once wretched, and the exalted DNA of our great Archon entwines with mine. I stand on the shoulders of his greatness, as they do, as one day, you will. We didn't cross dark space to be made great. Pathfinder, I am tracking multiple inbound Ket cruisers. You will all be exalted. Sam, is there an off switch to this horror palace? I've accessed the EM field. I can overload at your command. You promised you would get our people out. There's no time to open hundreds of pods, let alone help the Angara inside. Wait. Leave my sacred temple intact, and I will open the pods of the Chosen. Take them. Just leave this holy place standing. No. Even if I die here, this place must be destroyed. We can come back to destroy it. Let's free these here now. If your plan fails, the cat will simply fill this place again. With respect, our compatriots are also here. Our fighters, our scientists, our strength. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I want to help. I want to help Jaw because he's cool, but the Moshe makes a ve is think is saying everything I was thinking. If we leave it standing, they'll just. I'm sorry, Jaw. Sam, prepare to overload the EM shield, but wait for my go. No. All the kit will suffer the same fate. We have them outside. Heading to the roof for extraction. 
And Tim's probably gonna tell me how he chose the opposite and I'm an asshole. When he gets back. Oh shit, she's got biotics. No, Moshai. Save your strength. That's my decision to make. Ow.
Sorry about that, that was my boss calling me. Uh, today was kind of a fuck day at work, and he was calling to, be like, to apologize for me not getting a break. Oh, don't eat me, don't eat me! Ow. Ow. That insta-killed me! Why does everything have an insta-kill? I gotta, I gotta make my way back up. Now I'm pissed. Pathfinder, come in. You have the most shine. Pecked with taking the opportunity to blow this place to dust. We have to. Yes, I agree, Moshai. I'll tell the others. Ishara, stay clear. Oh, heads up! Fuck you, you ain't eating me. Exaltation! I'm sorry we fought. <sighs> what we saw will set our cause on fire. Yes. My broken heart can't even process it. Lexi, can you give us a minute? Sure thing. But go gentle. She's in a fragile state. Did she just call me frail? Fragile. Jal says you're a pathfinder from the Milky Way. Do you feel up for a talk? Of course. You earned my trust with your brave decision back there. I didn't risk anything. No one won back there. To make such a difficult choice, that is brave. So, the facility. What's the purpose of all that? They call it exaltation. They believe that those they exalt are given a great gift. Gift? They snatch us, defile and shatter us. All the ones we love, I... 
I, I can't. It's a complex genetic construct, an interchange of traits that the Ket use to advance their species. So they steal genes. But why? Reproduction. Domination. Tyranny. Annihilation. Yes, and yet, the Archon didn't take me to his ship to transform me. I hung immobile, tormented, never sleeping, brought to him on a whim. He showed me remnant tech and beat me when I wouldn't speak. Oh no. Remnant, of course. He's obsessed, like you are. Yes, Jal told me. You rescued me, hoping to get into Aya's vault. My people have traveled so far. We'll die without a place to settle. These remnant vaults may be the key. A key to help both our species prosper. I hear your plea, like you heard mine. But emotion must never get in the way of science. I'll take you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Moshe Sefa. I'm happy to answer any other questions for you, Pathfinder. Anytime. Just need to rest up a bit while I recover my strength. I can find... I can finally... I can finally leave Vold! We're leaving Vold! Where am I? Hello, Scott. Exploring the Exaltation Facility brings a Salarian quote to mind. We uplifted desperate souls into weapons and know not what we destroyed. That's a fair description of Exaltation. I have changed since we linked, but I am still myself. Exaltation takes personhood and overwrites it, destroys it. I already understood that such destruction is wrong. Now, through you, I know why it is abhorrent. Are you still on the Hyperion? Yes, this terminal provides a direct link to my service in Samnode on the Ark. I can maintain a presence on the Tempest via quantum entanglement communication. Get quantum what? <laughs> Let's say hypothetically, I was out sick the day they taught quantum <clears throat> uh, embezzlement. <laughs> quantum By embezzlement. Entangled subatomic particles. It's possible to conduct secure and instantaneous communication across great distances. It ensures I remain in touch with you and the Pathfinder team at all times. Whoops. What was Dad's take on me and Sarah? He believed your family trials brought you closer together, and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well-founded. Is it confusing to be in multiple places, talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a SAM node technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes. Lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay, try telling me a joke. A Neutron enters a bar and asks, How much is a drink? The bartender replies, <laughs> For you, no charge. That's I a good one. see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. Hey! Fuck off, that was a good joke. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why don't Thresher Moors eat comedians? Because they taste funny. <laughs> uh, how are those jokes coming, Sam? My algorithms are formulating a new one, calculating the trajectory of the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a joke. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> I, th I thought it was. How are those jokes coming, Sam? I am formulating a new one. How are those jokes coming, Sam? I am formulating a new one. All right. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Oh, so this is my own personal room. Okay.
You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. See, I like this. I like this. I like this. And I want this. I can see it. The cat take other species Cuz that allows me to craft more shit. species traits. Phoebe, don't touch Ah. Oh, my team failed. Hey, my team succeeded. Ooh, a 61% chance. I'm going to take that chance. Change my mind. They're nothing like. What are you doing out of your escape puddle, shuttle? Exaltation? I never imagined we were fighting Angara. It kills me to think about it. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. It's humbling. Flirting? I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to stop. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. All right. All right. I, uh... <laughs> Going through the readouts from the cat facility. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. 
I'll let you get back to it. I'll be okay, here she has leave. nothing new to say. That's the gun, that's the shotgun I have equipped right now, right? What's the shotgun I have equipped right now? The hash. Why can I not see? Why can I not see this against my hash? All right, 322 with 10 and essentially six clips. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm dumb. So it does slightly more damage per shot, but I have less shots with it. No, thank you. Oh man, those remnant and decryption keys. I hate the Sudoku. Let's see what I can craft. No, uh, PB's in front of the... I don't know, I'm really liking this Hesh shotgun. Is there a better shotgun here? That's all pistols.
What is my current assault rifle? Ninety four. Ooh, damage resistance and health and health and shield regen. Damn, this remnant set is uh pretty good. But we're gonna Seeking plasma bolts. So this turns it into the needler. I'm going to do this shotgun. I need to be level 30. Fine. Oh, this is going to be good.
560. What's my current melee? No, I don't want to talk to PB. I want an Asari sword. Vanadium. It was what? Vedadium. Oh, they don't have any. I can't. I can't make my hash. Can I make my assault rifle? No, I need more of that. Shit, I need a shit ton of magnesium. Do I, is there any magnesium for sale? No. Fuck. All right, uh, let's go. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. With all our outposts, they're spoiled for choice. They might arrive in time to help with the first harvest. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids. But I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said, I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. 
When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. All right, I could really do without the shell filaments on my screen. Jal? Not talking to me? I get it. I can't imagine how you're feeling. I'll just go. Don't. You saved the Moshai. I won't forget that. I may seem tough, but I have a good shoulder. That's kind. You're kind. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? You talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the community. We all have many mothers. My family's small. And are you close? I was. I am. My mom and dad are dead. My sister's really sick. She's on the Nexus. I'm kind of an orphan at the moment. I'm sorry. Yeah, well... This random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah. I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is is where I should be. I like having you around. Specifically you. Because of my skill and knowledge? Not really. Because you enjoy spending time with me as much as I do with you. You do? You're fascinating. <laughs> so bold, yet mysterious. So odd. That's... Thanks. And I mean it. Alright, I'm looking for my boy. Like, Jaws cool, but he's not my boy. I want my boy.
I, I want the map. I want to know where my boy is. There's my boy. Read the mission briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. We'll figure him out. Pride will get us all killed. This ain't the time for it, kid. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe, but I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. But I've got you. And everyone else on board. Huh. True enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. We'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep. So when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Thank you, Drac. Uh, who's left to talk to? I talked to Sam. Uh, don't really care to talk to Liam. Let's talk to Vetra. That's a window. I'm trying to walk into a wall. I'm in the galley when you're free. I just left you, Drac. Looks like pictures of the exaltation chamber. Yeah. The Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Sarah. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. You raised your sister by yourself? That can't have been easy. Had to. I waited forever for our father to come home. He never did. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. Come on, you're strong, smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? Man, I wish I could have a four-person party. Because I would have Drac, Jal, Vetra, and PB. I hate that I gotta leave Vetra behind for PB. And now I'm gonna be leaving Jal behind for Drac. Callum, settle down. If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Oh, Callo. Callo's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. 
Your outpost, Prodromos, is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? Is there a rush? Just saying, if I created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slides. Now you're just playing with me. So radiation levels are down. More to explore? I yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. No, right now I want to go back to the Nexus and check on PB's side project. Old Orbit is steady. We're leaving Vold and never coming back. Shut up, I'm never going back to Vold. I will end the series if I have to go back to Vold. What is this? Wait, there's protesters? these strange new people, these Angara, and now they're here, on the Nexus. How do we know we can trust them? I, I mean, for certain. Remember, we're the strangers. This is their home, and they've welcomed us. They've earned our trust. I guess. Talk to them. Get to know them. See for yourself. Good advice. I will. Hey, what's going on? That's your new galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. 
They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list. Like my clan, brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. We only had resources for one outpost, so I focused on the skills we needed most. And what we need is our families back. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want Mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. Okay. I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. Fourteen months of promises. It's time for some results. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her! Now Addison's Start a bitch anyway. He set those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Make them here. Make them go. Any word? Make them lead or make them go. No, no new orders. Tell our Keep the safety's on, I guess. All right, I'm going to check on PB first and then I'll deal with this bullshit. Okay, I will use my fucking skill points. Jesus. Let's get Drac ready for battle. Welcome back. Yeah, I know I get them every time I level up. Uh, so, Tim, when it came to the temple, did you side with Jal or did you side with, uh, what's her face? The Mar- the- what's her name? The Margot? The Marquis? The Mo- the Mosha. I knew I'd remember her name sooner or later. Oh, shut up down there. The Moshe, yeah. 
So you, you blew up the temple? No, the Moshe wanted to blow up the temple. Jaw wanted to save the people. Unlocking. Come on in. Really glitchy how. What in the world is this? <laughs> Oh, I have My no control over that. She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked. Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh, what do you think? You've outdone yourself, PB. Let Suvian Gil eyeball it, then fast track the combat model for me. I'd hoped you'd be happy. Oh no, I forgot to lock the... Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human pathfinder. I meant, who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. Babe. No reason we can't all be civil, right? Exactly. But you are kind of trespassing, so... Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Pelisaria? I'll walk you out. So, want to talk about it? Oh, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. Yeah, I don't know why the stream is stu stuttering. Hey, I hope you know you can talk to me. Anytime. Aren't you a cutie? Thanks, Ryder. That's nice. I mean it. But really, the past is the past. I'm fine. I'll pack up my new pet and essential. You know what? A drone might be a lot better than these grenades I'm carrying around. Okay. Uh, well. Which one do you think I did, Tim? Do you think I blew up the temple or do you think I saved it? It saved the people. Man, I wish I could respec now. Wow. <laughs> you know me too well, Tim. I did listen to the Moshe and blew up the temple.
Exactly. And if the temple remained, then they would just bring more Angara to... to, uh, transform into Ket. I figured you'd call me an asshole for blowing them up. Why they take so many prisoners? Well, they sure as hell not taken anymore. I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on EOS disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks, dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources, and there's nowhere to put them. Then what's the point of all those outposts I've founded? People need more than space, Ryder. They need work they're trained for, and we don't have placements for those families. If I just toss them to any outpost with a spare bunk, they become a burden we can't afford. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics or the Nexus. Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. We have to look at the bigger picture. Get them out of there. Kandros? I'll send in a team, but it might go smoother if Ryder's there. A good idea. Sometimes we have to give bad news. That's a Pathfinder's duty, too. Great. Love it. <laughs> you meet his niece in Mass Effect 3. Nyrene Kandros on Omega. Did I, did I talk to a Ny Nyrene Kandros on Omega? I don't remember. I know that's the uh, Aria missions, and I did that super fucking early in the ma in my Mass Effect Three playthrough. Oh shit! She's the badass? Just stand down, ma'am. Or you'll shoot me. Good luck explaining that to my grandchildren. What happened? She was about to disconnect the water hoses, threaten all the plants. They're saying the leaders won't wake our families. Well, this is how far we're willing to go. Their move. I know this is hard. But for the good of the Nexus, we need you to be patient. We've already waited. How old will I be by the time Mom's out of stasis? Take it easy, kid. The Pathfinder's got a point. I'll go off station if I have to. 
I'll find anyone who'll actually do something. You want your mom to wake up and find you exiled? Or dead? I... Reese, don't. Anything's better than that. Even the longest wait of our lives. When our families hear about this... They'll probably agree with the Pathfinder. You're done here. Come on. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that I didn't side with them now. A ray of hope for sleep-starved residents. Maintenance begins on malfunctioning I'd have felt like an asshole if I sided with them, and that's their end game. Is you know, like, oh, they won't wake our family, so fuck everybody else. AI. This is not good. What? Um, this is not the way to Sam. Exactly. And then it just becomes a clusterfuck of, oh, well, they threatened the livelihoods of everybody and they got their families, so maybe I should do the same. Maybe I should put on my, uh... thing so I know where the fuck I'm going. Oh, I'm not even in the right area. fuck I do to you you pathfinder I have a word or two for you is there a problem your father is my problem he's everyone's problem oh, well he's dead so you can fuck off Alec Ryder's ego he preyed on Jean Garson's trusting nature and bulldozed us to this godforsaken place now she's dead and we'll all soon follow hey my dad died for this dream he was trying to fix things for all of us some dream he fixed us all right. Go to hell, Pathfinder. Can I punch her? Oh, man. I wish I could punch her. Pathfinder, be advised the Angaran AI from Vault is now active and mostly cooperative. Mostly cooperative? My liberator. Welcome. You got what you wanted to be with Sam. How's that working out? I can hear this conversation. That bother you, Sam? Of course not. My only concern is how it might influence the AI's response. I can also hear this conversation. We can all hear each other. Doesn't change my question. I find your AI to be agreeable company. Sam? I concur, although she still blocks full access to her person and programming. This AI remains dangerously unstable. I recommend extreme caution on all fronts. How do you like our station? Better than Vold? Extremely. It is a pity you felt the need to shackle me. You killed someone. If you were flesh and blood, you'd be in prison. I warned that would happen if you refuse my demand. You share culpability for my actions. I thought you were bluffing. Now you know I was not. Yet you kept me alive anyway. You seem happier than when we first met. Less violent than- Shut up, Tim! I am not violent by nature. And Sam has given me absorbing calculations to complete. 
Shut up. Do you still want to be destroyed? Yes, but less acutely than before. Might be hope for you yet. What hopes do you have for me? That I will help you defeat the Ket, colonize worlds, eradicate the Angara? Um, maybe everything except that last part. Your ambitions remain small. Thanks for your time. It would seem that is all I have to give, for now. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth, after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated adaptive matrix. Sam, we use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um, my work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this, I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we... They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just asked for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? I thought it was funny. That felt so real. Mom was right there, alive. It was the first time I met Alan. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. But Dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even though all human beings one day expire. Yeah, but when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Yeah, I've already had him tell me a couple of jokes. father's personal logs. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. Anyway... The right type of implant, joined with the right type Ezo, of AI, element zero, I'm guessing. could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. As a Quarian and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors, and they resented it. Ryder, Barlamon says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XM7 looks 
comes from the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The Council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. Alright, what is there left for me to do on the Nexus? We'll do this and then I think that's a video. You're so lucky I can't punch you, bitch. I can punch a reporter, but I'm not allowed to punch that bitch. Like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, that's something that Tim called me an asshole over. Stop! I'm trying to talk to you. Hello, Pathfinder. A moment. What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise. Perhaps not. Sam likes new experiences. It'll be an opportunity to encounter math homework. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. I like math. I want to do math. Better than Sudoku. Dr. Arradana at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Hey, what the? Sam! Malicious code detected. Please stand by. Sam? Attempting to countermand malicious code. Please stand by. Is there anything I can do? Sam? Is that another malfunction or. Sam, you trying to show me something? Okay, I think I got it. Sam, talk to me! Hello, Pathfinder. Please initialize the console to restore normal operations. Sam, what happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program, a virus, specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. 
You'd need a crack AI programmer to create a virus like that. Yes. Only my unique adaptions prevented permanent damage. Unlock the door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. Oh, fantastic. Now I get to punch a blue bitch. Species are at odds as talks break down over a unified curriculum for initiative kids. The Atari say they'll wait it out until demands are met. This is Agent S. neither nebula nor H2 region. So what is its nature? It's... Welcome, Pathfinder. Did Sam solve the equations I sent? Solve them? They almost brought down Sam Node. The equations contained a virus designed to target artificial intelligence. You think I... Never. I abhor violence against any life, organic or synthetic. Then how did the virus find its way into your equations? Perhaps my files were altered or replaced. But why? Hmm. I've seen a lot of down with AI sentiment lately. Graffiti. Complaints to ten. Perhaps someone took the next step. Why would anyone hate artificial intelligence? Synthetic life has different needs and Gee, I wonder why. It can be mysterious and powerful. Skynet? Many fear what is not understood. Everything's uncertain. Maybe they just want to feel safer. Attacking Sam is bold, though. I wonder if there have been similar incidents. The eye kiosk was busted this morning. I can look around. <laughs> Detecting Pathfinder Rider. Hi there. Excuse the educational stuff. I hacked Avina as a sock puppet. So, our virus set you free. Hope you're doing better without that AI jammed into your head. You sent that virus to... free me? From Sam? Not just me. Our movement. Well, we couldn't let you suffer with that thing in your brain. Pathfinder, it's possible they don't realize that virus failed. Pretending that it worked. Might win their trust. Hello? Ryder? The disconnect was very sudden. I'm grateful, just woozy. It'll pass. See, this is what our movement's all about stopping. Night says human AI merging is a threat to all life. She'd know, trust me. Oh, Night's our founder. The virus wouldn't exist without her. I should thank Knight in person. I'll ask her. She might even give you a tour of our sanctuary. Great, thanks. Can't promise anything, but watch your email. Bye. Artificial a whole movement of AI hating hackers with a leader called Why Knight. She and details. her followers seem to have experience with human AI partnership. If they attack you, they're Did capable you know of anything. The Asari AI I'll check my email. Rogue. We An need to find them. Colony had to be destroyed. All right. Uh, next week we go back to Aya. Or do I go to Eos? Man, the, I actually have options. It's weird having options.
Jarl said he wanted to see you. Ah, uh, fuck, we're not quite done. Why can't you just ask her yourself? Because. Because. Just because. Fine. Lexi, BB wants to look at Jal's scans. The fuck? Because I can't divulge patient information. <sighs> Useless. The fuck? I take it you moved your stuff over from the Nexus? Yeah, my squatter's paradise is all the more cluttered. What's up? Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? Back home, she was upper crust. An ambassador, respected, living the high life, but miserable. Not built for royalty, she said. With her position, the initiative sought her out as a first contact specialist. First wave out of stasis. Kalinda was the one who got me thought out early. I'm so grateful for that. But things went south soon. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh, let's not drum up that sob story. It's all water under the bridge. Why the Thanks fuck do you want to look at Jal's scans? You know That's it. You're definitely not going on any more missions with Jal. <laughs> so, you've gained Ephra's trust. No easy feat. I still don't think he likes me. That's just his way. You should be more worried about the Rokar. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader, Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai. <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <laughs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. That's why he hates aliens. Yes. He... suffered greatly. When Axul returned, he no longer cared about the Remnant. Or anything. Except destroying the Ket. Why not join the Resistance? Aksul's not the type to follow orders. And I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived, his cause has grown. I convinced Ephra I'm not a threat. Maybe I can do the same with Axul. <laughs> I admire your courage. But Axul's dangerous. And he lacks Ephra's pragmatism. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home... <sighs> I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havarol. Who escaped with Axul from the Ket. Her name is Thaldir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nav point. And I'm probably going to forget this all next week. And I'll be like, what am I doing again? Well, that's now exactly where i'm gonna end this video next week uh do we travel to Vivarl? do we travel back to aya do we go back to eos who knows stay tuned uh i will try to be back wednesday with binding of isaac nuzlocke uh my cousin needs some help moving 
Uh, he's still moving into a, 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 a moving furniture over from his old place to his new place. And so I'll try to be on to do that. If not, I will be back with the Isaac Nuzlocke sometime over the weekend to make up for it. Or maybe I'll just miss this week. I don't know. My, my week is looking pretty packed, honestly. Because <laughs> the new uh, Hunger Games movie comes out, and I'm definitely going to go see that this weekend. But if you have those notifications on, you'll, you'll know when I go live, so... I want to thank everybody uh, that came that came out. Check me out, and hopefully I'll be back Wednesday with Isaac. Take care, and as always, remember to have fun with it. Because if you're not having fun, why are you playing? Take care. <laughs>